Hello, my name is Anthony Perry, Product Specialist here at Flux Pumps USA. Today we're going to be introducing the new Visco Power Pump Line, which uses positive displacement technology for high viscosity applications. This pump here is a Visco Power F580 with an open mechanical seal and a carton shaft for industrial applications. We're going to be doing some training on uh, disassembly and reassembly for maintenance and cleaning procedures. So for disassembly, you'll start down here at the stator housing. This is a reverse thread. Along with the housing, you'll get the PTFE stator. And then you'll come back up here and you'll remove the larger of the two tri-clamps. that's removed. It will allow you to slide the pump tube off. And note that this discharge is a true two-inch tri-clamp. We'll then remove the shaft from the bearing housing. You do that by aligning these sight windows and inserting your staking tool to keep that shaft from rotating. And then just break the shaft loose. And then thread the shaft off of the bearing housing. Along with the shaft, We'll get the mechanical seal spring and the rotating face of the mechanical seal. And we will remove the rotor from the bottom of the shaft. This is done using an 18 millimeter wrench. Let's break that loose and then thread the rotor off. So here we have our rotor and rotor o-ring. The rotor o-ring is held in place on this shoulder here. We'll then move our bearing flange back over and remove this bottom tri-clamp, freeing the motor connection piece. In the motor connection piece, you can see the stationary face of the mechanical seal which you'll remove by flipping it over and using your thumb to press down, popping that out. So now that it's completely disassembled, you'll take your new parts and we'll install them. Start with the stator and stator housing. Note the notch here and the alignment pin in the bottom of the stator housing. Those two need to mate up which you can see here. Fit. And then thread the pump tube. Holding the pump vertically like this will keep the stator in place. And then you can thread it all the way up until it sits flush with the tube. If you have a gap here and the stator housing is tight, you know that you have an alignment issue. So just confirm before you go cranking on it. Uh, that your alignment is correct with the notch in the bottom of the stator housing. We'll then reinstall our seal, starting with the stationary face. Again, it sits down on this shoulder here in the motor connection piece. Pressing the stationary face firmly down. When doing so, just be sure that your hands are clean as you don't want to get any particulates on the seal face, which could cause damage. And then we will install the motor connection piece back onto the bearing flange, aligning the two sight windows through the shaft here and in the motor connection piece. And then we can secure that in place with the smaller of the two tri-clamps.
Set that aside. And we will install the rotor onto the pump shaft. And note that the bottom of the shaft where the rotor gets installed is the smaller of the two ends. Be sure that your new O-ring is installed. And then you can just thread this down into place. Like so. And then just bump that tight with your 18 millimeter wrench. We can then come up to the top of the shaft and we will install the rotating face of the mechanical seal. The seal spring has this little shoulder here which will sit on top of the shaft. And then our rotating face of the seal will sit like this. And then we can flip this up and install it onto the bearing housing. Just thread your shaft on. Insert your staking tool so that you can tighten that up. And just a little bump. We'll secure that down. Once their shaft assembly is on the bearing flange, we can install the pump tube. Once that reaches the bottom, you just need to rotate it a little bit so the stator and stator housing, or the stator and rotor can line up. And then install the larger of the two tri clamps, securing the pump tube back onto the pump. And when installing these tri clamps, just be sure that they're facing the opposite direction of your discharge port so that you avoid any issues with your discharge hose connections. And there we have the best practices for maintenance or cleaning of the ViscoPower F580 with an open mechanical seal and a carton shaft. Thank you.